FileMaker 13 builds on the interface and design surface enhancements that were made available for the first time in FileMaker 12, providing additional control, depth and richness to the layout design environment. As part of that, there are a number of added controls and some new options available in the Appearance tab of the Inspector panel that's available in FileMaker's layout mode. One of the first things you'll notice is that there are now two separate drop-down menus for object styles and state attributes. The first determines the type of attributes that you will define or edit, and the second determines the object state to be controlled. Some objects are comparatively simple and only accept one type of attribute or only return attributes for one state, but others may have multiple object type options and multiple states for each condition. Let's look at some examples. As you can see, I've selected the My First Field field box on the layout, and under the Object Type menu, there is only one option for this type of object. However, there are multiple options for object state. If I select the slide panel that encloses the field, you'll see that there are now multiple object type options. The slide control itself, the panel within the slide control, or the dots for navigating through the panels of the slide control. With the slide control selected as the object type, there is only one state, the normal state of the slide control. However, if I select the dots, you'll see that there are now an array of object state options for the dots, how the dots will appear when they're active, when they're inactive, when you hover over them, as you press them, or when they're in focus. Presently, we can see two of those states, the active state, the dot that's associated with the current slide control panel, and the inactive state, the dots for other panels in the slide control array. There are a number of new states and object types included in the options available in FileMaker 13. For example, when there are no objects selected on the layout, the layout background is available, and it has only one state, the normal state. But interestingly, the ability to select the layout background and style it means that it's possible to provide attributes that apply to the entire layout, not merely to a layout part. So, for example, we can use that feature to include an image in the background of the layout. I'll select the same image here that's used as the desktop background on the computer at present, the Andromeda Galaxy, and insert it as the background of the layout. Interestingly, you can't see any difference. That's because each of the parts in the layout presently has, by default, a fill colour. So if we select, for example, the body part, click on the solid colour, and make it partially opaque, or if you like, translucent, we can now see behind the object fill colour the Andromeda Galaxy image showing through. Using this technique, I can now apply reduced opacity to the fill colours for each of the parts to allow the background image to show through to varying degrees in each part. This allows you to provide a sense of continuity between the layout parts and cohesiveness to the layout as a whole, as well as an increased visual richness and depth. Of course, objects within the layout can also be rendered with varying degrees of opacity, creating a wide range of visual effects and introducing illusions of depth and space into the layout that weren't previously available. A further feature of FileMaker 13 is the ability to control object shadows, both internal and external shadows. For example, if I select the slide control, I can now apply an outer shadow effect. And the attributes of the outer shadow can be edited and modified to move the shadow horizontally and vertically to an appropriate offset position, to change the colour of the shadow, and to alter the opacity, blur and spread of the shadow. This creates the effect that the object is sitting above or in front of the background again enhancing the illusion of depth and three-dimensionality in the design surface. A further new inclusion in the appearance panel of the inspector in FileMaker 13 is the ability to control text baselines. In the text section of the appearance panel, there is now an additional control for solid dashed or dotted baselines and a baseline offset control 
which will be useful in particular for languages that use high-range characters from the Unicode character set.